Go ahead. Just a quick one on the, the breaking news, Twitter agreeing to let Elon Musk uh, purchase, make this, go through this purchase. Uh, do you have a response to that? And does the White House have any concern that this new agreement might have President Trump back on the platform? Well, I'm not going to comment on a specific transaction. Uh, what I can tell you as a general matter, no matter who owns or runs uh, Twitter, uh, the president has long been concerned about the power of large social media platforms, uh, what they ha the power they have over our everyday lives, has long argued that tech platforms must be held accountable for the harms they cause. Uh, he's been a strong supporter of fundamental re reforms to achieve that goal, including reforms to Section 230, enacting antitrust reforms, requiring more transparency, and more. And he's encouraged uh, that uh, there's bipartisan interest in Congress. Uh, in terms of what hypothetical policies uh, might uh, happen, I'm just not going to speak to that at this point. Well, in time. Publicly traded companies have different levels of um, there's different levels of you know scrutiny that are possible of, of publicly traded companies. So, are you concerned about you know a billionaire taking control of a company that where there's already uh, a lot of concentration of power? I would say that our, our concerns are not new. Uh, we've long talked about, and the President has long talked about, his concerns about the power of social media platforms, including Twitter and others, to uh, spread uh, misinformation, disinformation, um, the need uh, for these platforms to be held accountable. Um, well, I know you tried again. I appreciate that. I, I still don't have a specific comment on this specific transaction. Um, and at this point, we don't have any sense of what the policies will look like. I don't believe the White House so far has commented on the death of um, Bishop Evans, the 22-year-old National Guard uh, specialist who drowned trying to save two migrants mm -hmm. and wanted to give the opportunity to save some more Yes, thank you for that, Jackie. And the news of the confirmation that his body had been uh, found um, was confirmed just a couple of hours ago. Um, I would note that, um, of course, our heart uh, goes out to his family and to his loved ones. Um, I would, it, to confirm all the specific details, he went missing uh, on Friday following his selfless efforts to rescue two migrants who appeared to be drowning uh, and who were trying to cross a river in Mexico that went to the United States, uh, went into the U.S., of course. Uh, we know that National Guard personnel, including uh, including uh, him, risk their lives every day to serve and protect others. Uh, and again, our, our hearts go out to his family. I don't have any, in case you may ask, I don't have any updates at this moment in terms of the president's outreach, but if, uh, if that is something I can update you on this afternoon, I will let you know. Does the White House feel any responsibility for his death, given that uh, there, there's reporting that he lost his life, uh, allegedly trying to save uh, two migrants who were smuggling drugs. This is a, a problem that you know the administration has been facing for some time, and is obviously as we've been discussing, getting some criticism on. Is does the White House feel at all responsible? And what what more can you offer to people who you know are on the border in border communities who are experiencing loss and, and trials like this? Well, I, I, of course, we are mourning the, the loss of his life, and we are grateful for the work of every National Guardsman. I would note that the National Guard work for the states, and so he is an employee of the Texas, Texas National Guard, and his efforts and his operation were directed by there, not by the federal government uh, in, this, in this effort, in this apparatus. Uh, we've, we've long stated that our immigration system is broken. There needs to be more done to invest in smarter security, to have a more effective asylum processing system, and we would welcome any efforts to, uh, for, for any elected officials to work with us on that.